MPIG stands for Meteorological Phenomenon Identification Near the Ground. The National Sphere Storms Laboratory had developed what they call a hydrometeor classification algorithm to give meteorologists an idea of the process that was going on in the cloud. But there was this strong, irresistible temptation to apply what it said at the ground. Forecasters and meteorologists wanted to remote sense the kind of precipitation that's falling at the surface. And so the director of the National Sphere Storms Laboratory formed a team, and that team's job was to develop a winter surface hydrometeor classification algorithm. We're looking for observations of precipitation type, especially in the winter time, near the ground, particularly ice pellets. We don't have enough observing stations out there to capture it all, but we have a lot of people with a lot of eyes, so they can tell us about what's falling. Snow, rain, freezing rain, ice pellets, mixes, all these things can be reported through that app. Now when we ask people to tell us about freezing rain, the rain may not be freezing onto the surface, it may not be freezing onto the sidewalks, but it might be freezing onto tree limbs. The only way it can appear in a, a report is if there's actually an observer there. The ability to make MPing reports and display MPing data can be built into branded apps, such as for a TV station or, or a private weather firm. And so if they ask that company to embed MPing within their app so then they can talk about it and display the data on the air, now they have the ability to do that. So I open the app and I say, what kind of report do I want to send? and I submit it and it's done. Once you learn how to use the app interface, it might take you 10 or 15 seconds to enter your observation and you can go about your business. Our immediate goal is to be able to generate what the current precipitation type at the surface is, given the radar data that we have available and environmental data we have available from our numerical forecast models. It's really important for airplanes and power companies and when it gets cold enough, the kinds of de-icing equipment and formulas that cities use to keep roads open. Without these data, we absolutely could not do the job we've been asked to do.